So today we are going to talk to one of my transformers. Her name is Yvonne. So give it up for Yvonne. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's beautiful. It's sunny in West New Jersey. And I'm trying to get as much vitamin D as I can. <laughs> That's right. I love it. Okay, well, sounds good. Look, Yvonne, do me a favor. Tell the people a little bit of something about you. I am a social worker. I work at New York Presbyterian. I've been working there for 24 years. I have also teach at City University. I, I always feel like uh, when I step into the day um, that that I'm there to serve and to do good and to help people. I'm married. My, I have a daughter. She's 25. She just moved to Providence, Rhode Island. So we have an empty nest. And we're excited about that. We have a Shih Tzu. Her name is Brooklyn. There she is. I'm very active in my church. I'm blessed to have like a really wonderful family and I'm looking forward to the next chapter. Ladies, does this sound familiar? She plays a lot of roles. Now, first off, I'm going to roll back. She's a super social worker. I used to work with Yvonne. When she says she's here to serve, she is super serious about that and trying to find time to make for her and for her health. So Yvonne, what made you want to start working with me? Like, what brought you to me? So, you know, Brittany and I worked together a long time ago. Uh, she was our clinic uh, nutritionist. And she, you know, she always came to work with such vibrancy. You know, she when, when Brittany walked into the room, she walked into the room. And she was so creative and so energetic and so incredibly enthusiastic about nutrition and and really wanting to change people's lives and I and I just adored having you know that working experience with her then she moved to Texas she was on Facebook somehow and all I remember is that she started her business and I said this is the one it was almost like the matrix with me with Neo this is the one and so I called her <laughs> I called her and I remember I all I remember is that I must have cried for an hour and I just kept telling her I I I don't I don't know how to cook I don't know what to eat I don't know what's a balanced meal like I I'm lost I'm just lost and and I need help and I need help uh it it really was like an SOS call I remember I was really really desperate I had all these responsibilities and then COVID and that was, that was like the icing on the cake. Um, so, so I remember, I remember that Brittany, you know, she just, she just listened, you know, she didn't say anything. She just listened and listened and listened. And then at the very end, she said, you know, we're going to work together. I'm going to help you. You're going to feel better. Just, just, just trust, trust that I can help you. And at that point, that's, that was the beginning of the journey. What was going on with you, your body and your health that made you say, okay, I need to make some changes. So I, you know, I knew that I was overweight. I was really ex like tired. Like I just felt really tired. Like, you know, I, like bloated. I felt tired. I felt bloated. Um, I work with patients with diabetes, hypertension, with three pages of medication. And, and, and I was so afraid that I was heading in that direction. And I knew that, and I knew being in healthcare, there was another way. There was another way to balance my life. And I also knew that I had been to Weight Watchers and, you know, I had done all of that. And, and it just didn't seem complete. I just felt like there was something missing in this whole approach of balancing work and life and nutrition. Um, and, and so that's why, you know, I decided, you know, let, let me, let me work with, with Brittany. We started working together and like, what did you experience while we were working together? Like, so, you know, of course, when you think about um, nutrition, then you're just thinking about what you're going to eat and, and it's all about food and, and you're good. And little did I know that I was going to be on this incredible journey of so many other aspects that affect nutrition, that nutrition is a 
is an outcome, but it's what you're but it's what you're putting in. It's like that's your output, but what's your input? You know, I, I work in, in, in the Hispanic community and in this community, you know, breakfast is uh you know, it's heavy duty. It's like eggs and it's like bread and it's 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 platanos, you know, if you know anything about, you know, Latino you know, cooking. I mean, it was loaded with carbs and, you know, you feel like, oh, good. That was a good breakfast. Uh, let's take a second look at that meal preparation. There's no magic bullet to this. There's no magic pill. It's really dedicating the time and making the time to really balance all of these things out. And that's what I learned, that if I can manage these other things, then, of course, the nutrition is going to be just as important. But it doesn't happen in isolation. Um, that, that, that's like the biggest lesson here for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's huge. Like knowing that it's not going to happen overnight, but it's going to be a little bit of work. You have to find out what you specifically need. And that's what we work together to do. And then once we figure that out, like we work your plan for you. And once you're willing and know that number one, you're worth the work. You're like, right. okay. And then you start seeing it work and you're like, oh, okay. And I feel better. And yeah. you know, all these things are happening. This is great. So like, what kind of things have you seen as it relates to improvement? Like what has improved for you? So one of the things that I, 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 I love doing with you is that every time that we met, you were like, I need numbers. I need numbers. Like, you know, just give me some numbers so that I can gauge how to tweak what we need to tweak. So I, I purchased a glucometer. I had never done that before. Never even thought about that as part of nutrition. Like, why do I need a glucometer? But again, it was another assessment tool. Like, okay, you're, you're on point with it. Let's, you know, keep this A1C down. Give me some blood pressure readings. How are you managing that? Um, so, so those things are were really, really important. Um, you, you know, the, the the ratio of protein to carbs, I, I never knew. I was like, well, don't, try not to eat a lot of carbs and eat a lot of protein. <laughs> you know? my At the very beginning, I just said to Brittany, I'm so afraid of carbs. Like I'll have, I'll have the protein. I'll have the salad and the vegetables. I can't do rice. I can't do potatoes. And what was fascinating, it was like, you know, let's talk about it. Let, let's let's just demystify this. Let's figure this out. No one had ever asked me about that. I would have never known that eating a certain amount, a certain amount of carbs is okay. So even when I was stuck and you just unpacked it in, in a very gentle, very non-judgmental way. Because, you know, this raises a lot of anxiety, right? Your your body, your weight, you know, sometimes it's a good week. Sometimes, ah, oh, this wasn't so great. But in a very non-judgmental way, you, you just like piecemealed it. No pun intended, right? But you piecemealed it and just said, okay, let, let's try this this week. Let's try this. And, and then we'll touch base on that again. So ultimately, it sounds like you feel comfortable and confident in eating and knowing what you should eat, how you should eat, how you should feed your body so that your body produces what you want it to produce as it relates to numbers and health and energy and just being in control. And also to knowing how to eat and still honor your culture. I think that's huge. A lot of times, yeah. you know, people feel like you have to kind of get health, you have to healthy out of your culture. So you have to stop doing all the things that maybe you were raised to do or the things that are nostalgic or the things that mean something to you and how you were raised. And it's like, no, don't let all that go. Let's do it in a way that honors your body, but then honors your, honors who you are and your culture and how you do things. And so that way you can still enjoy. Or, or, or even when I went on a cruise, I remember saying to you, I'm going on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I'm going on the cruise with that buffet. And and what was fascinating during that cruise is that I have like Brittany in my head because that's what happens, you know. Brittany gets into your head in the most wonderful way, right? And and all I kept hearing was, 
balance it out, balance it out, just balance it out. Like, you know, don't, don't get crazy with it. You know what to do. You have a plan. We've worked on this because cruises are going to come up and parties are going to come up and dinners are going to come up. Life comes up. And so it's not about depriving yourself. It's about honoring your body and knowing if I blow it, I mean, okay, but, but then you're going to have to undo that on some level. So why don't you just approach this the right way? So, so that, that's also been really helpful. If you had to talk to somebody who was thinking about, or like they're struggling with their health or they're thinking, should I work with Brittany? Should I work with, you know, her Instagram? What should I do? Like, is this something I should do or not? What would you tell them? Absolutely. I I would say absolutely work with Brittany because it's also a personalized program and that, that you're not going to get, you're not going to get this with those Zempic. You're not going to get this with Weight Watchers. You're not going to get it. These are like quick fixes and, and, and your body is your own. It's very personal and she will personalize the program for you which is priceless. It's priceless. And then you will start to see how the benefits of the program, how you're doing better, how you're eating better, how you're drinking more. I remember you said, you know, oh, I remember saying I I need to work on, on hydration. And you said, okay, put that thermos on your desk all day long. Like, look, like put it on your desk. Don't reach for it. Don't go to the refrigerator because then it's not going to happen. You need to have it in front of you. Just like like real life, like tips that really, 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 really work. Uh, you're, you're, and, and then the other part that's priceless is that in addition to all of this trifecta that we've talked about, you're going to get a life coach. Sometimes... Our one-to-ones had little to do with nutrition and the stuff that I was going through. And because I was able to work that through, then everything fell into place. Um, that That's priceless. That's priceless. Levon, let me tell you, thank you so much for allowing me to work with you. Like you could have worked with anybody, like you work in a clinic with a dietitian every day, you know, but I appreciate and honor the fact that you honor and knew that I could help you and you came on board and you've allowed me to help you. And you're in a place now where you're in control. You feel in control. You're like, okay, I'm doing this. And she's still on a journey because the thing is, as long as you're alive, you're still on a journey. And so she's continuing to walk this out. And I love that. She's continuing to love herself with nutrition healthy lifestyle. And look, that could be you. It going from a place from feeling out of control, needing an SOS, to completely feeling in control, confident, knowing what to do and what steps to take forward and constantly improving and taking control of your body and your health. If you want this to be you, look, Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Go right now to get180well.com and look at some information on the program, a little bit more information, and then also check out some more testimonials as well as schedule your free discovery call with me so that you and I can talk about what it looks like for us to work together so you can have a testimonial just like Yvonne, if not even better. All right. So look. Do it. You won't regret it. And it's a blessing. I just want to end with that. It's, it's, it's a blessing to have someone in your life that can help you address all of these issues. Women struggle with a lot. Uh, we're a different species. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're just a different species. And this is how we relate. This is how we, you know, um, you know, relate with each other. And so Brittany's program is just just the right thing, the right thing to do for yourself, for your body, for your health, for your mind, for your spirit. Beautiful. Look in the comments, give Yvonne some kudos. Like she is rocking it out. So give her some love, give her some kudos. Let her know that you appreciate her sharing her story and give her some high fives, some claps, some applause, some thumbs ups, because look, it takes a little bit of work to do this, to put in for yourself, to bet on yourself, to show up for yourself and get the work done. And she's done it and she's continuing to do it. And it's your time to do it next. 
I'm looking forward to helping you next. Let's go. Bye. Peace.